on the mark. This prediction that's right up here. Uh, I just yell at Larry Brooks like every other New York Ranger. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right. Uh, if, in case if anybody was wondering why I had to get up right there, it's because we have the announcement ads on jerseys. And they're coming in the next uh is 22 23 season it's been all over the comment section uh just now and i've all went on my rant about this um first uh let me just say here's a great work of art that is a picture from my grandmother uh she painted that uh and there's other good work of arts like uh adam graves right here the banner but this is a work of art it has stood the test of time for over 90 years and it's about it's closing in on 100 and yeah sure it's got the little adidas thing on there and there's plenty of room for other stuff to throw on there for uh ads why are we putting ads on jerseys you got ads on the boards you have ads all over the place all on the ice there's computer generated ads that go in and out, um, whether it's behind the glass, behind the goal, the the sideboards, um, the the side glass that's that's by the penalty boxes, or because um, MSG just figured out a way to do all that. So thank you guys. But why do we need to put ads on the jerseys? Now, is it going to be a lot? Probably not. It's probably not going to be that much. But it's. It, I'm a purist. I I can't help that. Uh, hockey, I'm always a little bit more open to um, experimenting as far as the game goes. I mean, baseball, <laughs> no. I never want to see the game change. Um, as a matter of fact, seven inning doubleheaders need to go. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the extra inning rule either. But they, the Ranger jersey is the Rangers are the only professional team that does not have their logo on their jersey. And they've kept it that way, except for uh, John Ferguson in the 70s making that ridiculous jersey that looks a lot like the Winnipeg Jets. Um, but it's just ads, really? This is where we're, this is where we're at now? The, the New York Rangers, over a billion-dollar organization, they need ads on their jerseys. So I'm a little bit frustrated by that, but I'm going to leave it at that and just move on. Guys, what do you think about ads on the jerseys? Well, that's where I see things just a little differently. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Um, you know, when they, when they said they were going to put ads on the helmets, I wasn't happy about it either. I mean, I guess I got used to it. Um, but even that I'm not a fan of. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. On the jerseys. I mean, you're probably right. It, it's probably going to be like a small thing. Uh, so I don't, I don't think it's going to be like a, like a soccer jersey or the or the jerseys and you see in some of the you know European leagues like it's in Sweden and all that a lot of the jerseys they look you know they look hideous really with some of all the plastering they have all over it um, but just leave it alone but you know what in the end at the end of the day I guess I guess I get why they did it or you know they want to make up for lost revenue and you know it is what it is we can't control it like, all we can hope for is that it's not it's not over the top and it's like the, the helmets. It's just one little logo. Like I said, on the upper chest or on the bottom of the Jersey. Um, I, I don't think they'll do anything that takes away, uh, takes away of the beauty of the actual jerseys for each team. But, you know, it is what it is. Perfect world. I, I don't want to see it, but you know, not much we can do about it. So move on. Basically thing. I basically the same. If it, if it gets them out of the flat cap sooner than later and helps make up revenue, yeah, as long as it's small. It just I, I wouldn't want it normally, but you kind of have to at this point. I, I get it. it it's if just they, it, it's just, John, it, we're opening the faucet. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about one ad, two ads, little things. I'm worried about Looking up and seeing uh, the Capo Caco uh, jersey from Finland that was basically more ads than jersey. 
No, you're not going to see that. If if that was the case, this would have been experimented with a long time ago. I, I think this is just a temporary thing. And then once they get back to where they are, then they'll probably do away with it. Or maybe they'll reduce it even more to the point where it's like barely noticeable. If anything, I don't think it's even going to be all that noticeable. I really, I, 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 I know that the NHL doesn't want to mess with things. And I know they take the fans, uh, they take the fans uh, opinions on these things pretty seriously because Jersey sales are pretty high for the NHL. So I don't think they want to ruin that. I think especially if, the, if it starts to ruin sales for jerseys, then you're going to definitely see it go down quite a bit. So I, I don't think that's the case. But I, I, have, I, have, I have a feeling they won't so – like the replica jerseys, I, I don't think they'll have the ads on the replica jerseys. I think they not even the authentics that they sell. Own. Yeah, so – yeah, I'm not sure how much it will affect – I think it would just be the on-ice jerseys, just the players. Well, you're right. Even an authentic jersey probably won't have any ad on it. So I don't think it will affect jersey sales. Yeah, but I mean, if I'm let's let's say for instance I'm McDonald's. Uh, I, I figured I'd go with a big sponsor first, and they're sponsoring the NHL or Wendy's. I think is one of their big sponsors too. Um, I have to remember who there is who their sponsors are. Uh, Discover, I know obviously. So I, if I'm getting uh, if I'm sponsoring the jersey, um, then why wouldn't I want that on the jerseys that they sell? Like it's that's just the thought right there. I mean, there you go. There's even more money. Now you're in jersey sales. So why not? Yeah, I I, I don't I don't I don't think that'll I think they get a kickback of that anyway, just because it's it's jersey sales. But mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't I don't see the DNHL going for that and I don't see the fans going for it. Because if there's if there's let's just say there's a DraftKings logo on a Rangers jersey, you're going to turn off so many fans from buying jerseys. It's not even funny. Like, look at all the comments in here. Like, yeah. this, this is something that I've seen all across social media where fans are saying no to ads. They they don't want it. So um, I, I don't think it's going to happen. And I, I just I, – I can't see it because you're really playing with fire doing that. I mean, I, I find two things ironic – about my um my editorial right now. For starters, one, I'm also wearing a shirt that says "Live Over Par." That's my friend's Instagram account. Uh, hopefully, uh, a sister channel we're going to have. Go ahead, check that out. That's golf humor. And of course, after we monetize, we're actually going to have ads. And I'm complaining about people wanting more money. Well, yeah, that's what all businesses work on. Hi, Under Armour. Hi, yeah. CCM. <laughs> yeah. So right now, Anthony is technically the only person not shilling. So uh, commend him <laughs> on that. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. Here, take two of these. Ah, new print. Little, yellow, different. But guys, go ahead. What do you think about ads on jerseys? So um, put it all down in the comments below. And of course, don't oh, uh, don't ever forget to like share and subscribe and I got to throw that on there one more time. So I don't have to edit that in later, but um, so we're going to move on from that. What I need to do is I need to cut in the scene from Wayne's world contractor. No, I will not bow to any sponsor. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here and don't forget to like share and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.